Alrighty, potassium. Welcome back to the second um, video of this week. Um, this one, um, so it's gotten hot outside, right? So I thought, why not make a fan um, that we can have around, just like that. So that's the fan we're going to make this time. And then if you look, I made my design kind of, take a look, what do you think it is? Mmm, yep, watermelon. So my design is a watermelon. You can do whatever design you want. Um, it's up to you. But if I will show you how to make the watermelon design. Though, so if you want to try that, that will be awesome. If not, try your own. Doesn't work too. So for this one, you will need um, two red construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, you can just take a white paper and color it red. Um, and then I will tell you the second part later on. Um, you will need a black marker. You will need black and white crayons. You will need um, a stick. A flat one would be better. This one, I didn't have um, a stick at that time. So I put two straws together and just wrapped it around with um, construction paper. So that would work too. It's up to you. Whatever you have at home, use it. Um, but this one is a stick and I just put um, construction paper around that one and then you will need glue stick um, tape maybe let's see I don't think we will but um, definitely glue stick all right that's all you would need for this project and for the first part so as you can see I made one already but let's see how we can make it look like a watermelon so first thing you will do is get your green crayon and just the long part, not the short part, just the long part, make your, and so when you think about a watermelon, the outside is green and then there's a little bit of white inside and then we have the red part and the seeds. So we'll make all that um, using crayons and markers. So let's start with the first part um, and just to the edge start with the green crayon so just make nice little straight line or you can do a line if you want to that way you know but you don't have to and it does not have to be perfect so you can just color the edge green to start with bigger all right and then same thing to the other side I'm gonna move my glue stick a little bit and green first all the way to the edge so that's the outer part so color 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 almost done with the green part all right so there's the green part now we take our white crayon and then right by the um, green, just do white. Just a small layer of white, not too much. That's pretty good. Same thing for the other side. There's the white and the green part. Now go ahead and take your black marker. We're making the seeds now. So for the seeds, you just need to put a couple of dots, uh, like an oval dot. Spread it apart. Kind of like this. Spread it. All the way down. And then same thing for the other side too. So. Almost there. Alright, that should be good enough. So, we are done. 
with that part. Now it's time to fold to make our fan. So for this, you take it and you have to make sure you do this the right way. So we have to do this um, kind of crisscross, crisscross, back and forth, back and forth. Um, so I know full days we have done it a um, few times, but I don't remember half days we did that together. No worries, we can do this together. So to begin with, just maybe like a, um, about an inch or so, because mine is pretty thick, so I think I would need about an inch. So fold it, and then once you fold it one time, make sure you flip it over, and then do the opposite side. And then flip it over, and opposite side. Press it down. Make sure the edges are together. That way it will be nice and straight. Again, edges together down flip it opposite side go so back and forth back and forth flip it over that flip it over again flip it over keep doing that until you get all the way to the end Now, do the same thing for the other piece. Let's put that there. So, again, about an inch or so. Down, flip it over. And over. One thing you have to be careful that you are flipping it over and doing back and forth. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So I will show you in a minute what happens if you keep doing it the one side. All right, last little bit. Fold and then put that aside. Now, let me show you what happens if you do it the same side. So if you fold, keep folding it and keep folding it and keep folding it. Let's see what happens if we do it that way. Let's see if it makes a fan. Did it make the fan? Did it do that? Now that's why you had to make sure you do back and forth, back and forth. All right. All right, are you guys ready for the next step? All right, now it's time to put it together. So go ahead and take this together. Bring this edge to this edge. So kind of bend it, bring it together. Make sure it's straight. And then kind of push it all together. Nice and st strong hands. So I had to make sure it's like that. All right. Now, the next step is to glue the middle together. So you just have to put glue on one side for this part, but make sure you start all the way where the um, lamp symmetry is. And then glue, glue, glue. And just fold it and hold it together. Make sure you're holding it for a little bit. Remember we do when we um, do something in school, we usually count to 20. You can do that. Just hold on to it. All right, let's see. Perfect. All right, let's make sure all the bottom is all. Yes. All right, so we take the next piece. Do the same, bring it together, make sure the edges meet, 
press it together, together, and glue. Start from the edge there, and then go all the way up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Press it together. And let's see. Oops, I got stuck. There we go. All right. Now, for the next step, we have to put these together. Like so. So, for that, Press it down, take one side. Now remember, make sure you're not doing this. That won't work, right? So make sure it's facing, the design part is facing you. And then take one, flip it, and then make sure the glue is all the way to the edge. So it all sticks together. Okay, and then like the other one, we take that, we put that together, just make sure it's the right side. Now again, both of them together, press it down, hold it for a couple of seconds, and right, so we just put glue all over. I'm just going to take a measurement to make sure I have glue. Nope, a little bit more. All right. All right, and then you take your fan, line it to the edge carefully. And then kind of press it down and let's wait for a few minutes. Hold it, hold it, hold it. So making sure it is sticking. The metal part need a little bit more. I hope I have enough glue. Let's see. So there you go. That's how you make a fan. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do make one, make sure to send us pictures. You know we love to see the pictures. So I hope you guys had fun. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye guys.